Hey guys, how's it going? Um, so, following up from what I said the other day is I've bought a bunch of bunch of bits and pieces for the bike which required needing a few extra tools. Um, and if you're working on a bike, one of those things that you need after a certain point is going to be some sort of a jack for it. So I looked around a little bit I don't know how much I'm going to use this thing, so I decided to look into what were my cheaper options. Um, well, what were my options without spending a bunch of money that will get me something reasonably reliable for doing small stuff here at home, you know, when I use this every now and then. Obviously, I'm not going to be using this thing week in, week out that I know of, so I thought I would... Uh, check out some reviews. I bought this one off eBay. It is the T-Rex is the brand. Um, the reviews on eBay were pretty good. It seems to be big enough for my bike. Um, but I thought I'd do like an unboxing and review video <clears throat> as my neighbor decides to start up an angle grinder. So hopefully you guys can still hear me. Uh, let's open this thing up and let's see what it's like and we'll test it out and we'll see how it goes from there. Do these. Cutting may damage. Oh well, it doesn't seem like I need to cut it anyway. So, here it is. So there's your instruction guide. As with any product, it is important that you carefully read and understand the user manual and be sure that you are familiar with all aspects of product safety, correct operation and usage. If you are not absolutely certain about safe use of this product, you should complete formal training before use. Cool. Read and understand. So, so I'm guessing there's another manual in here that shows me all this stuff. That's back in cardboard. That's packing cardboard. That is the jack. That weighs a little bit. I think the box says gross weight 15 and a half kilos. Yeah. <coughs> So that's going to be our tensioner for lifting it up and dropping it. And these are the brackets if you choose to use them to sit up underneath the bike. And that's it. It's a pretty simple jack. This goes on here. And you turn that. And it raises straight up. And that's all this one is. This one doesn't seem to have any of the safety catches or anything like that. So, um, it's rated to 500 kilos. Oh, sorry. The manual for your item is available at the following link. So, yeah, they don't send a physical with you. I just completely missed that on the... Other. Yep. Right in front of me. I didn't even read that bit. I'm an idiot. So, yeah. They don't supply you with a physical. You need to look it up. But, yeah. That's all this one does. It just does that and goes back down. This isn't a hydraulic one. It's just a... Thread, it's it's just a big it's it's a big scissor jack. So it's not very wide either. It's actually quite narrow, so that's gonna be a bit of fun. But I guess I don't know. It had good reviews on eBay. So we'll see how it goes. That's not an angle grinder, that's a chainsaw. 
so I apologize if the audio is terrible in this. Oh, moment of truth. So that's where you line it up. We'll see how this goes. Obviously not being hydraulic. This is gonna take a little bit to uh, get it going. So it's lifting it up. I've just got my arm over the top. Because I don't know what this jack's going to do. I'm just trying to centralize it as it looks. So it's taking the weight of the bike, but it just definitely leaning it back. So here's the arduous task that you're met with when you don't have a hydraulic jack. <coughs> if you don't get it in the right spot, you've got to manually roll it back down. So we'll go back a little bit. To about there. And we'll try this again. Stand completely. So that now is lifting the bike straight up. So the front wheel is just off the ground, the rear wheel is about 60 mil off the ground. There you go, there's the T Rex scissor jack doing its thing. It just clears. Yeah, he put it in the middle and it just clears the stand on a Street 500. So yeah, I have a jack now. I mean, obviously there is much better options out there, but this one seems to do its thing. I mean, obviously you can spend a lot more money on these jacks and have something that's more reliable and easier to use and all that fun stuff, but I think this one's going to get me out of trouble to be able to do the bits and pieces I want to do for now. We'll see what happens. One thing I am going to do though, is put a strap over the bike to stop any risk of it rolling off. So here we are, I have some endless, endless loop straps here. Um, what that means I can do is just go around that. I mean, obviously this is just a, it's a safety precaution for both me and the bike. Just be aware of the plugs and that kind of thing when you're doing this. There we go, that's not going anywhere. It's not done up crazy tight, it's just enough to take the weight. And there we have it, bike is secure. It's only a small jack, I mean maybe this is something you could carry with you if you um, if you were heading out and about and doing stuff. 
Obviously, if you wanted a one for your garage at home, you're gonna be doing a lot of stuff. I wouldn't recommend one of these. But this one will get your wife doing basic stuff. So it's 150 mil wide. 450 long. So, easy to hide away somewhere, but it's enough to do this. It's rated to 500 kilos. I think, it, I think it's gonna work for what I need. But if, say I owned multiple bikes and I was servicing bikes at home, um, or working on them at home a lot more often, I would probably go for a hydraulic jack that was probably a bit bigger because obviously a Street 500 isn't a big bike. It's it's big compared to some, but I mean, for what's out there, it, you can't consider it a large motorcycle. And I think if I had a bike much bigger, yes, you could get away with using this, but I would probably be looking at something else. Very basic construction. I'm guessing the only thing that will, the main thing that will go wrong with these is over time if they're not looked after the thread will fail on that shaft um like if like car jacks do over time obviously car jacks are usually physically a bit smaller than this and they're lifting larger heavier things um, so this might last a bit longer just being used as a motorcycle jack um, that and i mean having bolts sitting through here Basically all the weight is put on those. It's not crazy heavy duty, like the welds have got gaps in them here. All that kind of thing, but you know, this is what you get for just under a hundred bucks. So there's my review for the uh, T-Rex Motorcycle Scissor Jack M5. Got it off eBay, I'll, um, I'll chuck a link to it in the description if anybody else wants to check one out and grab it. Thanks for watching the video and um, now that I've got this, there's gonna be a, a few more extra things happening to the bike. So, uh, yeah, like, subscribe, comment and let me know if you're a, if there's another Jack that you've found out there that's pretty decent for the money. Give me some suggestions or um, you know, if you've got one of these and you've had it catastrophically fail, let me know, because that would be awesome before my bike falls off it. But we'll, uh, we'll see, and um, yeah, tune in to the next video because I'm going to be getting my hands dirty again, kind of. And uh, be throwing some new parts on this bike, and if you haven't seen what the photo that I posted on Instagram, uh, there's going to be some more chrome bits being taken off this bike and replaced with black bits that are also upgraded parts getting rid of some really big chrome parts on this bike but yeah thanks again guys and um i will see you in the next video cheers bye